Hello, my name is Anna. Welcome to my virtual yoga studio at havemad.com. Today's practice has been inspired by a long-time martial arts practitioner, Stuart Heller. I always like to blend yoga with other modalities, and this one blends yoga with Eastern medicine and martial arts. What makes it yoga is not what you do, but how you do it. The Eastern medicine talks about the five elements, earth, water, wind, and fire. Each one is represented in our body by the bones for the earth element, the fluids in our body for the water element, the digestive fire and the muscles and the heat they generate as the fire element, and the breath and the lightness of movement by the wind element. All of them are tied together by the element of space. Space governs our ability to move as a whole and to have all-pervading and omnipresent awareness of our entire being. Because of deeply ingrained habits, we react to circumstances in our lives, usually with the same habitual way or attitude. By becoming aware of our habits through the process of svadhyaya or self-study, we can have a choice. Some circumstances require us to resist, others to adapt, or to even move out of the way, while yet still others demand that we rise up to the challenge and meet it head on. The following practice is designed to increase your awareness of which of these choices are more habitual to you so you can learn other ways of responding to a situation. Begin in the stance of space, standing tall with your feet firmly planted, good posture, breath flowing smoothly. Allow a sense of stillness and peace permeate through your being and open your awareness. Space governs hearing, so listen to yourself, that's what awareness is, to your body, your breath, your emotions, your mind running its commentary and describing everything to you. Experience yourself all at once. Now imagine, as you close your eyes, that an unknown presence approaches. And you're going to make a choice to resist. As you open your eyes, inhale, and as you exhale, shift forward and down, resisting what's coming, bracing up against whatever it is. Inhale and step back. Exhale, shift forward and down, switching legs. Inhale, shift back. Alternate side to side a few times. Experiment with arm positions and how wide you like your stance to be. Do you feel steady on your feet? Do you feel the ground underneath the soles of your feet? Do you feel supported by the ground? Notice how you plant your feet. What is your reaction to this stance? Does it feel natural? Or does it feel uncomfortable, like it's somebody else's skin? What are the emotions you're experiencing as you're going along? Cultivate your relationship to the ground and the strength it gives. Once you finish, come back to the space stance. Think about what happened. Relax and steady yourself. Find that center, that peaceful core. As you settle down, Imagine that another unknown presence approaches and you're going to have to make a different choice this time, the choice to adapt of the water stance. On the exhale, shift down and back. On the inhale, come back center. Alternate side to side as before. Invite fluidity into movement. Allow joints to move freely. Invite a sense of juiciness into the movement. A balanced water element helps us to adapt and to go with the flow. It governs creativity, 
So notice if you feel like experimenting with this dance, adding your own personal touch or interpretation. Does your breath and movement feel smooth? Are breath and movement coordinated? Notice your emotional reaction to this. Is it difficult or easy to move so fluidly? Come back to the space stance and again settle down your breath, the body, find the anchor of stillness and be at peace. And then imagine that another unknown presence approaches. You're going to take the wind stance by moving back and up on the inhale. Sometimes moving out of the way is the correct choice. Inhale, shift back and up, lifting the arms overhead, maybe coming up on the tippy toes. Exhale and come back. Shift side to side a few times, observing how easy or difficult it is for you to feel light on your feet, to feel an ease of breath and movement. Notice if you get out of breath or whether you lose your focus. Cultivate a sense of expansion, lightness, and gracefulness. And then come back to center again, into the space stance, feeling steady, peaceful, calm, find your center again. We have one more stance to experience, the fire stance. So imagine another unknown presence approaches and you're going to shift front and up like a warrior pose, to rise up and meet what's coming. On the inhale, shift forward and up. On the exhale, come back to center. Alternating side to side, work to distribute the muscular effort evenly through the body, moving from the core. Notice, are you able to keep your effort here moderate and appropriate? Or do you tend to get too excited and carried away? Are you able to summon your warrior spirit to fight for what's right? Can you observe yourself without being judgmental? When you finish, come back to the space stance. Root through your feet. Expand your awareness. And just be in the moment here and now. See if you can experience your whole body at once, your entire being. And know that you have choices to resist, to adapt, to move out of the way or to meet what's coming. And I thank you for joining me. Namaste. Please visit me at havemat.com where you can find more detailed information about the five elements, about my teaching, and the blending of various modalities into yoga practice for a more holistic approach.